How to make root vegetable puree. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Making your own baby food is a great way to introduce variety and nutrition into your baby's diet. Let Sean Blunos, author of Cooking for Coco, show you how to make root vegetable puree. Step one, prepare. For this recipe, we're using some carrots, parsnips and swede. These are ideal to start with for babies um, as they're nice and sweet. Each vegetable has its own sweetness, which is great and very palatable for, for young babies' tastes. So we just start by peeling the vegetables. Cut the swede in half. So we just top and tail the vegetables. With a parsnip, it's a good idea if you just remove the root. So cut into quarter, and I tend to remove this little bit, which can be quite tough. Just take that little bit out. Just peel off the outer layer of the swede. All these vegetables are lovely because they've got a nice colour to them, which is very good for beta carotene. All the vegetables that are orangey and yellow in colour have beta carotene. This is the natural vitamin A found in vegetables. So what we want to do now is just slice the vegetables roughly the same size so they tend to cook evenly. Obviously the smaller they are, the less time it takes to cook. Step two, cook. So into the pan we need to put some unsalted butter. Let that melt and just take our nicely chopped vegetables. Just stir these around for about three or four minutes. Let them fry off and then we need to add some stock. Make sure you're using unsalted stock. A lot of these stock cubes these days um, have got very high concentration of, of salt in them. You can buy stock these days with a very low salt content or you can make your own. Just need to cover that with a lid and leave for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes until all the vegetables are, are nicely cooked. Step three, puree. So we just test if the vegetables are done. Just stick a knife in, lovely. Then we need to strain the vegetables. I like to keep the liquor because you might need to um, just get the right consistency for the uh, puree. And it's all full of goodness. You've got all the goodness from the vegetables in there. Pop them in the food processor. Whiz. At this stage, we could add just a little bit of the liquor. Remember, we've still got the mashed potato to, to add. I tend not to put the mashed potato too long in the food processor. If you do, it tends to go gluey and you end up with wallpaper paste. So there we go. That looks a lovely consistency. Now the mashed potato. And again, checking, you might need to add a bit more of the cooking juices, depending on the consistency. And then you have your root vegetable puree. Root vegetable puree. Done.